Bakery Obengang was founded in 1997 to craft brew Belgian style ales. Um, we were founded by a husband and wife team from Cooperstown that were importing Belgian ales and had this really great idea that it might be less expensive and a little more interesting to just brew their own. Um, so with the backing of investors, including Dubal Mortgott, um, who are our parent company now, um, we were founded on this old hop farm and have been brewing beer since 97. Omigang um, only brews Belgian style ales and we use sort of these time-honored Belgian traditions like open fermentation and bottle conditioning, which means that we add yeast and sugar to the beer before it goes into the bottle. Um, this produces very highly carbonated beers. Um, but these are things that are typically done for Belgian style ales um, and we're one of the only breweries in the United States that will do that. Um, we're also at the very peak of the quality pyramid, so there are um, very few breweries in the United States that produce consistently very high quality beers the way we do. Everybody's week at Oma Gang is a little bit different depending on their jobs. I'm the publicity manager, which means that none of my days look the same. Um, sometimes I get to spend days with college students talking about what we do here. Um, so depending on who you're talking to, they might be working their eight-hour brewing shift. Um, they do about a brew, one brew every four hours or so, so it's just constantly on their feet going through the brewing process. We have people that take care of packaging. We have people that work as tour guides. Um, we have people that work in the cafe. It's, I mean, it's a true business. In addition to just making beer, there's a finance piece to it. So, so yeah, I started off uh, about a year ago. Uh, started off in the events department. Uh, so I was helping out with like the summer concerts and the big beer festival, Belgium Cup to, to uh, Cooperstown. So helping out with that. And um, then once I finished that in the uh, beginning of August, they offered me a job as a tour guide, and I took it. Been doing it ever since, and it's been awesome. Um, get more beer than I can handle, uh, so my friends are very happy. And other than that, it's a really great experience. Get to meet a lot of interesting people from all over the country. Uh, get to talk to a lot of people in the industry, uh, all the brewers, and learn a lot about beer, so that's been great. Uh, I like doing the tastings a lot. It's nice uh, seeing people's reactions when they first try our beer, because uh, a lot of people come in and they don't really know much about beer, and then they start trying all these different styles, and uh, they're surprised by how much they like. So um, that's really cool, just uh, introducing people to uh, different beer styles. At the end of 2012, um, we got a phone call from HBO and found out that we were on a short list of American craft breweries that they were considering partnering with to brew beers that were inspired by the hit show Game of Thrones um, and after a couple conversations we were all on board and decided that a beer collaboration with the show would be something really exciting and that we were interested in taking part in. So we started with Iron Throne Blondale in spring of 2013 and then there was a Take the Black Stout in fall of 2013 and then this spring 2014 we released Fire and Blood Red Ale. About the brewing process, you go to the brew house, you learn how you make wort, which is the uh, pretty much the sugar water that's going to get fermented later on. So you learn how to make that, and then uh, we show you the uh, different fermenters that we have. We've got the open fermenter and also the closed fermenters, so check those out. And then uh, also the um, the bright tanks, that's where the beer gets carbonated. Check out the packaging hall, you see our bottling line, huge bottling line. We got a couple of years ago from Duval, they gave it to us from Germany. Uh, you can see that, and uh, if you come here during the week, you can see it in action, so that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So 
brewery Omi Gang is available in 43 states and also in DC, Puerto Rico, and the US Virgin Islands. Um, and we work with a network of 135 to 150 distributors, and they distribute our beer throughout the country. Brewery Omi Gang has a summer concert series. Um, this year we have back to back shows with Modest Mouse on May 23rd and 24th. We're also welcoming Connor Oberest. Dawes and the Baseball Project on April 1st, and Old Crow Medicine Show is making its return to the brewery on August 3rd.